You're listening to This Podcast is for Women, episode number 29 with me, Adrienne Everhart. In this episode, I'm going to discuss getting clarity, whether you have been dating for a couple of months, like more than two or three months, or if you've even been in a long-term relationship with someone for several years. I'm going to talk about opening yourself back up to quantum dating and getting clarity in your relationship about where you're going and where you want to go in this relationship. This really struck me as an important topic to talk about because I received a comment on a video short of mine on my YouTube channel. Someone wrote in and said, after months of dating, he says he doesn't know if he wants kids. She wanted to know if I could speak on this. And I replied to her and said, hey, this is where you open yourself back up to quantum dating. You have that clarity conversation. You must walk away. And then if he really wants you, he's going to come your way. Now, I have a really popular blog called Why Walking Away Works. I have talked about Why Walking Away Works in several of my podcasts, and it is a really important part to quantum dating and getting a man to fully commit to you. I want to say on your terms, but of course, all relationships are about negotiation. And in this situation, it's about having children. But you could really have a lot of different scenarios, such as a man who wants to date you, he wants to see you, everything's wonderful, it's perfect, he just doesn't want to get married. That's how the situation was with myself and my now husband, Jeff. He would get so angry at me if I brought up marriage because he was like, why can't we just enjoy ourselves? Why can't we sit here and have fun and just enjoy this movie? You know, why do you have to talk about marriage? Well, I wanted to be married. I wanted to be a wife. And this was really important for me. So at some point, I really had to just walk away because it was either that or him uh, doing what a lot of men do, which is they get angry when something has suddenly changed. You've suddenly changed on them what you're currently doing what how the relationship is going and they want you to change it back so they get angry or upset or some men just get quiet and go pout every guy does his own thing okay so you probably know what your guy does because if you're listening to this podcast there's a very good chance you're in a situation with a man where he's not doing something you want him to be doing (laughs) or he's not saying or being a way you want him to be So number one, this is not about changing a person. This is not about I'm going to do and say these things to get you to be exactly what I want you to be. Now, let's be totally transparent. When I walked away from Jeff and I let him know I want to be a wife one day. I love you. I think you're amazing. I will miss you, but I want to be a wife. We're not on the same page. I'm going to be walking away. That quote is right out of 500 Ways to Talk to a Man ebook. That quote is in my ebook, and this ebook sells like crazy and helps so many women all the time because it works. So I'm here telling you, I'm not wanting you to do or say this to get a person to respond the way you want them to respond. I want you to be authentic. In what you're about to do because walking away and saying this is very serious. A handful of times I received messages from women who said, I walked away and it's been, you know, two months, no contact and he hasn't reached out to me. Okay, like that's not how it works. So I really want to be clear that you're not doing this to say like, hey, Adrienne's already proven to me with all her YouTube videos that this will work. Okay. But does it work? Yes, it works, but it's not going to work to get you this specific outcome if that's what you're going for. It will give you the absolute best chances to have some type of certain outcome. I know I sound like I'm going in a circle here, but here's what I want you to walk away from is that when you use this script and you walk away and you're doing it because you are really, truly, authentically in alignment with a value that is very important to you, such as being a wife, children, regular dating, 
being exclusive, you know, giving up everyone else and being fully committed. These are really important things to discuss in a relationship. These are important things that you want in a relationship. So let's look at the example of uh, the person who commented on my YouTube channel. She wants to have kids. Her guy is going, I'm not so sure. Just out of the gate, let me start by saying, I don't know too many men who are immediately like, yes, I want to have kids. I think there are some out there. I don't know this gentleman's situation. He maybe already has children. Maybe he's feeling a little wishy-washy about his relationship. We don't know. But if you've expressed you want to have children and he at first said he did and now he's kind of changing his story, something's going on with him where he's fearful about something or he is not feeling confident with something in the relationship, the world, his own energy, whatever it may be. So I want you to be able to have a open conversation with him and let him know that you understand you can relate to what he's saying that sometimes you're not totally sure, but then most of the time you are, you know, express that you have some doubts too. understand that this is what a relationship's about is that we're all going to have strengths and weaknesses. And I'm not suggesting that you go ahead and procreate with a man who doesn't want kids, but just understand that for a lot of men, this is not on the top of their list to lose more of their free time to raise children. I think a lot of men might want it, but they might be very fearful. So have that total transparency talk where you can get clear on and understand fully what it is that's going on. What is he afraid of? What's he worried about? And see if he can't open up. First step to getting a person to feel more confident sharing their feelings with you is let them know that you really can relate in some way to what they're saying. And if you can't relate to what they're saying, don't say that you can, but let them know that you understand how that must be feeling to them. I understand you might be feeling real, really stressed about this right now. This is also known as my really, really get him tool where you say, oh, you must be feeling so worried or, oh, you must be feeling really scared. You just name one thing that you believe your partner is feeling and you reflect that back to them. And then you're connecting. Now you're connecting and you're having a good conversation. So you could use the same technique if your partner says, I don't know if I want to be in a committed relationship. I don't know if I want to stop dating other people and just date you. Or when you let a man know, hey, I only hear from you a couple of times a month. I really want to be in a regular dating relationship. And he says, okay, I don't know. Or he just doesn't respond. You can get clarity. You have the right at any time to get clarity and say, hey, can you let me know a little bit more about what's going on? You're asking a person to have an open, transparent conversation with you. One of my favorite things to say is, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on? So you're just being very open and warm. Tell me a little bit about what's going on. And I want you to just listen. Relate if you can relate or use my really, really get him tool. Now in this particular situation, I believe most likely the young lady I'm speaking with will have to walk away. Now, when I first realized that walking away was a method that not only could work, but it empowered you and grounded you in your boundaries, I was blown away by how amazing it worked for everyone, but also how horrifying it is to do this. So I've shared my story about how I walked away from Jeff and I said, I really want to be a wife. I will miss you. I hugged him. And I remember trembling inside. But I was also like kind of angry and like, if you don't want to be with me, if you don't want to marry me, see ya. And I got in my car and I knew that I was in alignment and in purpose with my desires to be a wife. It took about three months and 
the closer we got to that three month period, he had messaged me and tried to communicate with me a couple of times. And finally, at around a three month cycle, he came back to me and wanted to get married. For some reason with men, things can work in three month cycles. So I always suggest if you do have to walk away from your partner, write it on a calendar and project three months out to check back in with yourself and see where you are. So in this situation, walking away, you can do it one of two ways. You can let a man know, okay, I want to be in a committed relationship, or I want to be a wife one day, or I really want to have children. However, I care about you. I enjoy seeing you. We have this wonderful connection, but I want to keep my options open. Now, when you tell a man you want to keep your options open, his ears will go up and he will look at you and go, what does that mean? (laughs) Yeah, I want to keep my options open. I want to be a mom. And I, I know that there's a guy, there is a man out there who will want to marry me and make babies with me, but I'm not ready to just stop seeing you. I, I love you. I care about you. Some men will go, okay, okay, all right, so you want to see me? So are you going to be screwing other guys while you're screwing me? And say, no, 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 unless you want to say yes. But in most cases, I suggest only having one sexual partner at a time. It can be very dangerous to do otherwise. So then you will agree on having a sexually exclusive relationship, but you're going to keep your options open. Nine times out of ten, a client will tell me, my guy will never go for this. He'll just break up with me. Okay, then good. Let him. Nothing is going to affect him greater than when he has to confront the fact that he had to break up with you and walk away from you because you wanted to find someone who could give you what you want in life that he can't give you. He has to sit and stew knowing that he could not give you this thing and that you want to see other people. Now, I wish I could have done this with Jeff, but I think that he and I have been on again, off again for so many years. I mean, it had been a couple of years that we were just at a place where I just needed a clean break. I just got to walk away. So you've got to really decide which way you want to do this. I really recommend it. If any of you are in any long-term relationship and it's not working out, you have got to quantum date. I do not believe in long-term, uh, long distance relationships. I believe in long-term relationships, but long distance, you just set yourself up for so much misery and loneliness. And so often the guy is just leading a completely different life. The one long distance relationship I have been in was the most depressing and emotionally exhausting and just wrecked my self-esteem. And come to find out, even years later, I found out this guy was seeing uh, other people when he was supposedly committed with me long distance. I remember wanting to go out with my girlfriends and they were like, come on, let's meet some guys. And I'm like, well, I have my boyfriend who lives 200 miles away. And they would look at me like I was ridiculous because I was this hot, beautiful, young, attractive woman. And I was doing this because it was safe. Okay, I didn't mean to go on a tangent about long distance relationships. But you can do the same thing. If you're not ready to let go of that long distance relationship, you can say to him, I want to keep seeing you, but I want to keep my options open. I want a partner who lives near me. I want a relationship where I can date two to three times a week. I want you to know why you want to keep your options open and be able to express that to this man when you let him know, I'm either going to be keeping my options open or I'm going to be walking away. Now, in the case of the gentleman where she's going to be walking away because he says he's not sure if he wants kids anymore. I do believe she will have to walk away. We'll have to be in such a way that you stand so solid, calm, poised, and grounded in your belief and desire that you want to be a mother, that you want to be a parent, and you want to have a partner 
who wants to share this with you. I want you to be resilient, if not almost stoic in your decision. It is not an emotional thing to respond or react to. It simply is. It's not a big, long discussion to have. It's nothing to convince your partner of. You don't convince them that you want to be a wife. You don't discuss and convince them why commitment is so beautiful and wonderful to you. It just is. This is what I know in my core, in my body, in my very being. This is important to me. I will accept if it is not you, but I know there is a man out there, and this is really important to express, I believe there is a man out there who will want to marry me and have children with me. He sees that man in his mind. He sees him. Again, this is something that will trigger masculine energy to get off their duff and be a man and claim you. And again, I don't want you doing this to prod your guy into doing what you want him to do because he's either going to do it or he's not going to do it. And if he does it, it's because he's manning up and he truly wants to claim you. And it takes practically losing you for him to see that. Hi, everyone. This is Adrian Everhart. If you're enjoying my podcast and also enjoy my YouTube channel, I suggest you go a little bit deeper into one of my self-study programs. I recommend everyone start with my ebook, 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. It also comes with a two-day video class. This ebook has transformed the lives of so many women because I help you get aligned with your natural feminine energy and learn to speak and phrase your words in a way that really connects to a man's heart instead of challenging him with masculine energy. I can teach you so much more in my self-study programs. I have something for every topic that you may be interested in. And of course, New Man Manifesto, which is a 12-week manifesting course. It comes with homework and lots of extras. So head on over to my website, everheartcoaching.com to learn more. You are invited to join my online coaching community, iHeart Love Academy. On my private app, you can attend a monthly class and receive coaching with me. You can also explore guest coaches and speakers, post your questions and receive help from my coaching community, or offer advice to a fellow diamond girl. You also have access to our growing library list of classes and workshops, plus group member chat. There's so much fun in this group, and I especially love the supportive community. You can join iHeart Love Academy and receive three days free and enjoy as many classes as you like. Then join on a monthly basis. You can cancel at any time. To join us, head on over to diamondgirl.me slash group. That's diamondgirl, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-G-I-R-L dot me slash group. I can't wait to see you in the group at I Heart Love Academy. I think that men have always been this way, but I have to tell you, I think it's even worse these days. I hear about men who are just so lazy, complacent, and not really into drive and desire to claim a woman. I want you to attract men who have the drive. I want you to attract men who are strong and confident in knowing that they want to claim a wife and have a wonderful partner live and experience life with, that they understand this. They get what partnership is about. I want you to be open and receptive to attracting those types of men and be willing to walk away from the types of men that can't do this. Please trust that they are out there. Be confident they are out there. I get emails and messages every day from women who tell me that they've read my book and they're either successful or they've done the ABCs to get them back and they're successful. And women of all ages, all backgrounds, all religions, all nationalities are able to attract and create 
loving, long-lasting relationships that lead to marriage, and you can too. So often, this means you walk away. And when you walk away, you let him know, I would love to be in a relationship with you. I would, I will miss you so, so much. This would feel so wonderful to have in my life, yet I'm accepting your no, and I'm going to be walking away. Now, the final thing I want to say about this is that when you walk away, you walk away. He's going to start blowing up your phone after about a week or two. I want you to answer it with curiosity and some confusion after you've had a few, you know, comfortable exchanges of hi, how are you? And yes, and what are you doing? And the normal exchanges a person has, I want you to say, you know, it feels great to hear from you, but I'm a little confused. I've accepted your no, yet you're calling me. What does this mean? So when he texts you at 11 (laughs) o'clock, And says, hey, I miss you. The next day, when you're bright and alert, you can write back, oh, hi. Feels so great to hear from you. I miss you too, dot, dot, dot. And then if he says, do you want to get coffee? Well, yes, I'd love to get coffee. Go have the coffee. Go meet him. Don't fall right back in bed with him, but meet him and just say, well, hi, this feels great to see you and and what's going on. Give it a two or three dates to reconnect where you're just saying hi and hello and being friendly. This isn't something you're going to keep doing because you might have to repeat this process. And after two or three dates, say, you know, the past couple of dates have felt amazing, yet I feel really confused. I've accepted your no. You know, you don't want to have kids or you can't move here or you don't want to be in a committed relationship with me or you don't want to be married or whatever it may be. And yet, you know, you're here and I'm really confused. And then see what happens. Because the guy's trying to do one of two things. He's either trying to rebuild with you authentically or he's trying to get it for free. He's trying to get it even though you've said no. And so that's why I just want you to date. I don't want you to fall back in bed with him and have that conversation with him. You know, especially my clients where they say, oh, you know, we used to argue like crazy and I had to walk away from him. And now he's come back into my life and, oh, we fell back into bed together. Now what do I do? And we're seeing each other and we're dating again. Now what do I do? You have to repeat this process again. But it's a lot more difficult to say, hey, I'm walking away the second time after you fell back into bed with him. It starts to come off a little bit like the boy who cried wolf. So that's why I say when you do it, be strong in your commitment that this is in alignment with your values. If you want to learn more about quantum dating I want you to head on over to my website and go to everheartcoaching.com slash fem. Fem stands for Feminine Energy Mindset Method. Look into my program called Fem Tools for Dating. I also have one called Fem Diamond and Fem for Relationships. These programs are amazing. I don't talk about them as much as I should, but if you have any doubts about dating, Fem Tools for Dating is your go-to. I highly recommend Fem Diamond if you want to take a much deeper dive into feminine energy. And Fem for Relationships is a wonderful little boost to your relationships. And they all come with the VIP library. And Fem Diamond comes with an additional. Thanks so much for joining me this week. I'll see you next week.